you're into cult classics, you may recognize the man beside me. This is Mr. Reggie Bannister. He has been seen in the Phantasm series, Bubba Hotep, and also in a religious film where he plays a priest taking Christians on a retreat and a nun teaches them about sin. That movie is Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. So, thank you, Mr. Bannister, for being oh, with us. Oh, you bet, and I'm happy to be here. All right, so yeah. you are known as the hardest working man in horror. Yeah. So, how does one achieve that status? Uh, you don't worry about money, for one thing. Okay. okay? And you just you just want to make films. You just want to make movies, you know? And, and uh, you know, horror films are so neat because they, they, they carry all the, you know, I mean, it's drama, it's comedy, it's scary, and um, yeah, it's, it's got all the elements uh, that I love in, in film, so I, it's been a lot of fun. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that you and Angus Scrim are the only two actors to appear in all five Phantasm movies. Uh, yes. Okay. That's so true. What is it about the character Reggie that has made him endure all of the films rather than being one of the tragic deaths? Well, I, I think that uh, the character of Reggie is, uh, he's every man's man. It, it, you know, and I, what I mean in that sense is, uh, you know, everybody can relate to him. You know, he's very human. Uh, he was thrown into this world, this weird world. And if you look up Phantasm in the dictionary, uh, you can see it's like, it, it says, it's, you can't figure out what is reality. But what is real, what is not real, but it all feels real to the individual who's experiencing it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what Reggie goes through in the, in the Phantasm films, and I, I really dig representing that, uh, that character, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after Phantasm, yeah. uh, you did Flower Delivery for a Mortuary for two years. <laughs> Actually, uh, it was kind of during Phantasm. Because um, I, I worked at a mortuary cemetery mausoleum, uh, and, and the flower shop was right there on the grounds. So it was kind of cool because, well, I mean cool, what I say? You know, who has worked in a mortuary mausoleum cemetery? Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful. It was in Long Beach. It was called Sunnyside, uh, which is interesting because Don used the morning side uh, thing uh, for the cemetery when we shot Phantasm. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, long story short, uh, I was working there. I was uh, delivering flowers uh, to weddings, funerals, whatever was going on, and um, and so we were just you know it was it was a, it was a good trip uh, for, as a job you mm -hmm. know just regular straight day job. And I was playing music at night uh, in clubs around Long Beach. So, uh, and then Don came along and said, hey, let's shoot this movie. And I went, cool, you know. All right. So, and you said your music, uh, you've yeah. actually released, I believe, six albums. Well, there, there's been, uh, there was a lot of albums earlier, like in the 60s. I was in a group called the Greenwood County Singers. And I think we had three or four albums, produced three or four albums. Uh, there was another group, uh, uh, when I got out of the military, that I was in into for a while, and they had an album. I don't think I was on the album. They they had the album first, uh, but that was called that group was called Stone Country, and which was kind of cool. Awesome. And then uh, you know, and then beyond that, I have just done a lot of uh, uh, you know just me on stage with my guitar. So uh, and that that's kind of what I was doing when uh, Don approached me about Phantasm. Okay, well we'll wrap this up by just asking you about. Sure. Uh, uh, you're the vice president of the indie production company Production Magic Incorporated. That's right, vice president. Uh, okay. So what can you tell us about uh, Production Magic? We just love making movies. You know, we love being a part of making movies. Uh, uh, we can do production. Uh, of course, I can act, uh, I think. I, I'm pretty good. And, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, it's, it's, kind of, it's great because uh, it's, it's this stuff that we love. And now we can actually produce it and, and, and be a part of it on, on pretty much every level, you know. Uh, because it's, it's, it can be fairly complex to make a, a film. You know, you've got to have your sound, you've got to have your cameras. You know, there's, there's so much going on. You've got to have a cast that, that's really great. And so, um, you know, I hang, you know, call my friends. Hey, we're making them. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for being with us, Mr. Bannister. Well, thank you. And 
Check into Production Magic and be prepared for Phantasm 5. Absolutely.